So at the sanctuary of Son Coros here in the central part of Mallorca, it's an interesting site. It's got some interesting pillars here and it was kind of like a, a towler sanctuary like we find in Menorca, but without the towlers. So these pillars are kind of different. It's thought that the kind of boat shaped or horseshoe shaped uh, enclosure had a roof originally, but now they think it didn't, much like we have the open air sanctuaries in Menorca. They found bronze bull figurines here, so it could have been a bull cult site like we find in Sardinia and in Menorca and other places across Europe um, but yeah it's one of these intriguing sites there's a whole route of archaeological sites in this area that we're going to take a look at uh, but the bronze figurines are really interesting and this dates back only to about 550 BC although it's thought you know it's more likely really that it's earlier there's probably is earlier settlement here like we find with the towlers uh, in Menorca and all over Mallorca uh, and the Taliotic sites probably to around 1500 BC at the very earliest so let's get in there and take a look so this is supposed to be like a late Taliotic site really at the end of the whole Taliotic era um, here in Mallorca so it seems like there was a progression from Sardinia to Menorca and then really ended up here and uh, there's not really that much left uh, to look at um, but yeah I just find it intriguing uh, the, 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 it did have a cyclopean wall all around it although I don't think much of that is left but these pillars I do find really intriguing and you can see them just ahead of me here and you can see there's a sign that kind of describes what's going on in this sanctuary Dison Coro but the sign is pretty badly damaged it's more of the site really uh, but you get a sense this is one of the bulls the bronze bulls that were found here so let's get in there and take a look at the actual sanctuary itself I don't know, I just thought that this was some kind of sanctuary. I mean, these almost look like animal or human type figures. They really do look like they're... You see them like six guardians type of thing? They are, they're like, almost like guardians. I mean, whether these were said to represent humans or not, I really don't know. But they've actually reconstructed these and they've kind of cemented them back together and put a, a bits of metal through them. So you can actually still, they, actually, so they stay in place. But it's supposed to be like a horseshoe shape. And you can just about sort of see a curve around it. They put these metal grills all along the side here. I don't know why they put them. They look like train tracks. But I would imagine it had a whole structure all the way around. That's what they sort of say in the, uh, with the information about it. But yeah, it's quite an intriguing, strange little site actually. So we have the main sanctuary here with the three pillars in a row with one at the back there, a small one, and three on this side. And it doesn't look like it did support a roof, although it may well have done. They kind of grey downwards, but then we have this outer wall which then dips down into the field. But look at these huge blocks, very large blocks making up the outer cyclopean wall. And you can see some of the stones mixed in with the mud as well as obviously the very large stone here and the outer wall and the actual sanctuary itself So we're just outside the main sanctuary here and you can see we have actually stepped down a level into the field here and you can see it's made up of you know not great not huge but certainly blocks that kind of create a cyclopean wall which would have almost protected the site and then we have the main um the main pillars within the, the temple there but the ones on the left there these ones here are huge they're like you know 10 tons something like this so there could have been a cyclopean wall, there could have been some kind of connection with the giants here. So we're not too sure about that because apparently it only dates to about 550 BC, although of course it could be much older. 
So you can see the wall potentially goes all the way along here up to the main sanctuary. But here, just hiding in the bushes here, it's an extremely large stone again. So we have cyclopean blocks making up the lower levels, the sort of platform of this particular construction. These do look like humanoid figures to me. They really do. They're really starting to get that sense. It's like a, they almost look like the sta- like Yeah. Like yeah. Almost, hybrid. almost remind me of like the Moai or even the, uh, the giants, uh, giant statues that were found in Monte Prama in Sardinia. But it may not be, it may just be because they've worn down and you kind of get, sometimes you get like features that look like faces in the rocks. So we're like on top of the main sanctuary here, up on the other side, the opposite side of where they've been. Again, we have quite large blocks making up the outer wall. I'm actually standing on one here as well. And then we have the sanctuary just over there.